So, as you can see, I'm kind of sweaty. Um, I'm in the van and I was gonna do a whole video of me cleaning and organizing the van and I filmed a bunch and then um, at some point my memory card got full. I don't know when that happened. And also, um, I don't have my card reader. Jason has it. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I've done so far and then just do the video from here. And um, yeah, so I have pretty much half of all my stuff out here. Um, it's totally disorganized. I cleaned the bed. I put on a new uh, fitted sheet. The cat condo is a no mo. I'm making the very back the cat condo because Halo likes to be back here when I'm driving. Um, so now she has a place to sit and they have all of their stuff back here aside from their food. But this way it's way easier for me to get in there and clean out the litter box and then um, I can keep my shoes and stuff that I actually get to more often in the front storage area. I still have some camping stuff back here but the other things are going to go in the front. So I found this cool shelf thing at Walmart and I'm gonna actually stick this in here and organize it a little bit better so that I have shelving as opposed to everything just kind of thrown and tossed in there. I hate being disorganized and it's so disorganized in here. So really happy to have this. I think someone actually bought this and returned it, or at least took it out of the package for sure. It's funny. This neighborhood is just very like, everyone is kind of, they're always outside and stuff. And so I'm just like out here in my van with everything I own on the side of the um, road. And you know, everyone's just, I'm probably thinking I'm some weirdo that lives in their car. I have no idea how to do this, and I hope it has all the pieces. I think it does. Okay. Step one, unfold it. Got it. Step two, unfold this one. Okay. Step three, blah blah. Am. Like so. Okay. I'm gonna attach them. Easy peasy. I wonder, I should probably put it in now and then put it on top. Cool. Just done, son. Now I can put stuff in. No, that is not wine. I wish it was. So I got these cute little baskets uh, from Walmart. They were about five or six bucks. And um, I only got two for now. I didn't know how many I would need, but I'm going to, um, like this one I have all of my shoes in except for the ones that I am wearing and my like big boots and stuff. So I can conveniently put uh, that in here and then I'll have my other one 
and this one I think I'm gonna put some clothes in so to uh, I can make narrow my clothes down to just one of these cabinets so I have another one for storage and stuff um, so I'll keep those in there and then my other shoes will be outside on the corner over here but I want the cats to be able to still get in and go back in the back um, I did have a door here and I took it off so that the cats can go in and out, but I do have a plan for something to be right here um, to kind of cover it up, but I'm not gonna really worry about that too much right now. Okay, so I did my best to clean the van and I think I did a pretty good job and I reorganized and stuff. Um, as you guys can see here, I have all my workout stuff. Um, I'm going to get a new yoga mat. Mine's just so dirty and gross. Um, I have all my like boots and stuff on one side and then I have shorts and pants and overalls here and then my all my shoes are right there, like no, my normal shoes and then I got rid of some clothes and downsized um, like my socks and underwear and stuff like that. So that's all my backpack over there. And so that freed up an entire cabinet over here, which um, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna use this for, but for now I have just miscellaneous stuff. I have all my books in here because I can't keep them on the uh, counters for now, but um, I got paper towels, cleaning stuff, like my tools and things like that. And just random stuff. So that would be my miscellaneous cabinet for now. Um, and then also, as you guys can see here, just um, reorganized the pantry and it's definitely much more organized and easy to get to everything. And as you guys can see behind me, I made my bed. Um, uh, while I'm here at Bridget's, I'm gonna do some laundry. And so I don't have like all my blankets and pillows up there, just some of them. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And then um, I do have a generator now. And so I need to find, I think I'm just gonna keep it up in the passenger seat because most of the, most of the time I'm never gonna really have a passenger with me. Um, and in the passenger seat, I will have that. That's where I keep all the window covers and my laundry, dirty laundry, and my guitar. And I have hats and stuff like that all on the passenger side. But I'm gonna have the generator in the front seat and then I got another battery bank that is, I think it's supposed to be more powerful than the Jackery. I think it's a 1500 watt, the Jackery is a thousand watts. So hopefully, I'm gonna see if that other one, right now I have it charging. I'm gonna see if that one, I'm gonna test it tonight and see if it will um, actually power my space heater because uh, that's a 1500 watt space heater. Jackery's a thousand watt. So hopefully that other one will be strong enough. If not, then like, um, if like absolutely necessary, I can use the generator for uh, power for that if I need heat, but I do have an electric blanket that someone sent. Uh, they sent one to me and sent one to Jason. And I actually have been using that. That's what I used when I was at the river so I didn't get too cold. And BB actually snuggles with me every night. So we keep each other warm. Um, and Halo you know, sleeps too, with us too, but she sleeps on the outside of the covers. BB likes to be on the inside of the covers and I sleep with the blanket over my head. So 
uh, I don't really have a problem keeping warm. It just sucks when it's super cold and then you have to get up and like get going and stuff and you don't want to because it's really, really cold. Um, I definitely have to get some warmer PJs. Uh, I condensed a bunch of my clothes in here. So other than that, this is all my clothes. Um, so for now, this I just reorganized everything. I'll show you guys the, um, the new cat condo again. Uh, real quick I'm gonna test that out and see how the cats like it. I think it'll be great for me because it'll be easier for me to clean the litter box. It was a pain trying to get, the other litter box was so big and trying to get under there and clean it was, it was doable, but it wasn't like the easiest thing to do. So I'm happier with, with it like this so far. And then I had like camping stuff back there. I moved my grill over here behind the driver's seat um, and I think all the rest of, I have the firewood and stuff in the back as you guys saw. And so, yeah, I think I'm pretty, pretty organized now. I feel a lot better with the, with it clean and organized. I hate being unorganized, but. Got rid of the old litter box, got rid of a bunch of clothes. And um, there are some things that I have that I just like don't know what to do with, like my suitcase. It's not that I don't, I mean, I, I'll need it every now and then, but it's not something I use all the time. So I don't know what I'm gonna do, where I'm gonna even put it. I'll probably keep it on the floor in the front, I guess, for now. Um, and then I have my little uh, toilet, which I don't know if you guys know, I don't know if I've even really talked a whole lot about it, but let me show you. Okay, so. Um, someone sent this, so thank you to um, the person that sent it. It is, I use it as like a stool when I'm, when I just leave it out and I use it as a stool, but it has like a little toilet seat and um, I bought these small um, 3.2 gallon trash bags. And so this is what I'm gonna be, this is what I'll use instead of trying to use like Walmart bags and stuff. and. The, really and truly this this uh, toilet is basically like emergencies only so uh, yeah that's that's that but other than that I just use it as a stool um, I haven't really I haven't used it yet but yeah it'll be for emergencies but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm kind of just winging it and just kind of filming my, I guess more like day to day stuff. Um, and along with the continuous build of the van. So let me know if like stuff like this is something that you guys are actually interested in. I don't want to keep doing, you know, videos that you guys don't want to watch or anything, but um, I was hoping to go stay at my sister's house, but she's been, she's working a whole lot and she's really, really busy this week. So it might not um, be something I get to do this week, but hopefully next time I come down, we can actually plan something and I can kind of plan it around her schedule. This time I really just needed to come get the things that I had mailed here and then the title to my car. I think it's about to rain. And I have like a bunch of, I still have like the generator and stuff out here that I need to put in the van. Um, but what was I saying? I don't, I don't remember what I was even talking about. Oh, um, I, I'm thinking about slowly making my way back in, to Oklahoma for the meetup and maybe taking a different route and staying at a couple different, um, I found some cool free camping areas that I might want to stay at. So I'll, I might check that out. Um, but I don't know. And if I do, of course, I'm going to film it. So hopefully that's something you guys can look forward to. But thank you guys for watching and, you know, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. I'm going to try and start posting 
every day if not every other day uh, I'm trying really hard to do that so thank you guys for hanging out and watching and oh also just a reminder I still have my bonfire campaigns up for a few more days if you want to get a t-shirt uh, I truly appreciate everyone who has bought a t-shirt and if you're thinking about buying one um, for those of you who have said that they don't have your size uh, Jason said that in some colors they do have larger sizes so just check all the colors that you might want to buy um, unfortunately I'm bonfire is basically just like the middleman and I don't control what sizes and stuff that they have um, but I hope that you guys find a shirt if you're wanting to buy one I really hope that it does work out for you so and thank you to all my new patreons I am posting weekly on patreon and uh, videos weekly maybe more than one a week and photos all that good stuff on patreon so thank you to all my patreons to everyone who, who's bought a shirt thank you so much for all the support and to all of you who just watch my videos in general and watch the ads even like you guys are great thank you so much and I, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow